Let's have a look, look at another well-documented DDoS attack in the year 2017. The victim has been the National Lottery in UK. So what happened? You can see the diagram in here and what you can see is some kind of uh, X, Y scale which is not uh, having a unit but it has to be something like packets or uh, requests per second. And what you can see in average you have something which is very low, let's say 10 or 20 packages requests per second, but here it's actually going up quite drastically and you see peaks of uh, roughly a thousand requests per second. And most probably the system is not able to handle this anymore, so it breaks. What you can see then is on the left side, this is an email by the attacker who are asking for 0.2 bitcoins. If you don't pay, then the system will permanently go down, etc. etc. In here, you can see a tweet on Twitter, nowadays known as X, where the National Lot Lottery informs that uh, they have pro a problem. And here you can see the website of the lottery, which uh, simply argues, hey, we are not available right now. That's what typically is a clue uh, when what happens when you are a victim of a DDoS. Describe what happened. That's what I actually did. Um, analyze the diagram that I have done as well. What recommendations would you give to the attacked company? That's really quite hard to argue. So usually you should um, not follow the requests by the attackers because this strengthens the uh, attackers more and will lead to more attacks in the future. However, however, are you strong enough to yeah, uh, keep your things are um, going on, to keep the business going on? So it's not that easy. Yeah, in principle, yes, you should not uh, follow the, the requests by the criminals, but if you're in this situation, you might decide differently.